Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's digital plan with me. Today I am planning out the first full week of December, which is going to be quite a busy <laughs> week for us. Um, it is just about two in the afternoon. It's Saturday, December 2nd. And I just a little bit ago got a chance to sit down and plan out the week um, for this upcoming week. And then also just getting a chance to sit down and do my voiceover. So I have been out of the office, if you will, <laughs> for the past few days. Just Thursday, I took completely off. Friday was a lighter day. Um, today, I'm really just kind of playing catch up a little bit, getting this video done. And then of course, preparing for new releases that are coming up on Wednesday. So we'll have some new sticker kits to share with you guys. And they are really, really cute kits. So I am very excited for that release to share all of the new kits with you. And then yeah, working on the new to done planner. So I've gotten quite a few messages asking when the next to done planner is coming out. It will be um, released on the 13th of December. So that is the date for that. It is pretty much finished. Um, I just need to, I wanted to make some tweaks to it. Um, and then I also needed to design like the sticker kit to go along with it and everything, the matching stickers. So just working on that today and that's pretty much it. Um, we have a lot coming up this week. We have my husband's birthday, Andrew, he's gonna be 37. And we have my oldest daughter, Maddie, she's gonna be nine. So we're gonna have a birthday party for her and stuff. So we have some preparation work to do for all of that. Um, cleaning needs to be done, laundry is behind. <laughs> so I need to get laundry done. So, you know, the to-do list never ends, right? But that is life. And honestly, I wouldn't have it any other way. I feel like I would not be able to handle like not being busy. It was weird on Thursday for me to take the day off. Like I, and this is probably a good, just like, you know, mental health gut check thing, if you will where I took the whole day off, but like I felt kind of guilty. Um, like, I don't know. I just feel like I have a really hard time like disconnecting from work. Um, and that's probably for multiple reasons. I think it just, a lot of it stems from my childhood and having to like work hard and everything to provide for my kids in a way that I was not provided for as a child. And then also um, just like being the sole breadwinner of my family and like just feeling like I can't let up off the gas. It's been kind of a struggle for me lately, to be honest with you. So I've just been trying to like really keep things into perspective and not like stress out or worry so much, have more faith, like that things work out the way they're meant to and that sort of thing. But um yeah, it's just like, I don't know, it's just hard for me to take time off work. But I, you know, it's maybe not even the business. I feel like I was just like that too when I worked a nine to five corporate job. I felt like, you know, I just always felt guilty. Like if I even just didn't feel like going in because I was just feeling down that day or something, I would always just be like, oh, I'm doing something wrong. Like I shouldn't be calling in. I don't know. I don't know if you can relate to that, <laughs> let me know. But I know with like, you know, obviously having a small business, the business's success and ability to stay afloat and stuff does solely rely on me. I've got Andrew helping me out quite a bit, which is so nice. But um, yeah, so it's just a little, a little nerve wracking sometimes. But um, but I did enjoy my time off regardless. Like I, I did go through a little bit of a moment where I was just like, oh, I, sh I should probably get... X, Y, and Z done today. Like I'm, you know, whatever, even though I had it all plotted out on my calendar, I was like, it'd be nice to just like maybe get ahead, but it's like, I have to be able to shut off, right? Like I have to be able to disconnect, be with my family. That's what's most important. Be present with them. But I think when you go through a period where you're just grinding so hard and just working around the clock, like even though when I first started, out, I was like, I'm not going to, I'm not going to work like in the evenings. Like I'm going to be more balanced about this. But then like things started like kind of coming together and I 
like the work. It's usually how big projects go for me. Like I start working on it and then it just builds from there. Like the ideas build from there. And so as it just like built and like kind of, I realized more and more what I wanted to get done. Um, I just realized how much work was involved. And so it just kind of blew up <laughs> from there. So, um, and I'm not complaining at all. This is like completely just part of the deal when you're running your own business. Like if you talk to any entrepreneur out there, any small business owner out there, like it is a lot, a lot, a lot of work. And it's, um, it, it truly, you could work 24 seven. You really, really could. So you have to be very intentional, um, about, managing your time well and keeping balance and stuff like that. But especially in the very beginning stages of a business, the very early years of a business, when you're just really trying to become established and things like that, um, I feel like that too is like, you know, you're going to be working way more than 40 hours. And that's something that I did not even realize, like when I first quit my corporate job, and I think I've talked about this before, but I remember when I first quit my corporate job, I was like, oh, I'll just, you know, work 40 hours a week and do that. But no, <laughs> that did not happen. Instead, you like kind of, yeah, you work way more than 40 hours a week. So, um, but anywho, yeah, so I'm just kind of like, I don't know. I'm trying to get my brain to settle a little bit, like do more reading, watching movies with the kids. Like last night we just relaxed on the couch and we watched Elf, which is my all time favorite um, Christmas movie. And we sipped on some hot chocolate and it was just really nice and relaxing. I made sure my phone was nowhere in sight. And, um, and I think I just need to do that more. I think like I think I've kind of developed a little bit of an unhealthy relationship with my phone again. <laughs> so I need to, I need to be, um, setting those boundaries and everything again. Cause I feel like I was really good about that for a while, just completely putting my phone away. Um, and then I just, yeah, started kind of not putting it away <laughs> and that leads to, um, just not being present with my family and I don't want that. Like I want when I am with my kids to just full on be with my kids. So things I'm working on, random stuff. Um, and it's so important too, to just like talk to my kids too. We had a, a important like life lesson this week about like gossiping. Um, cause Maddie's getting older and you know, at this it's happening where like so-and-so said this about so-and-so. And so we had to have like a whole talk to about, um, not engaging in gossip and like just not being part of it. And as tempting as it can be to be a part of it, like people who gossip and say bad things about other people, um, it says more about them than it does about the person that they're gossiping about. So we had like a whole, chat about about that and I mean I'm guilty I have engaged in gossip in the past but I feel like I've been really good like in my 30s <laughs> I feel like in general about just like not engaging in it um I just I it throws negative vibes out there and I don't like it and so I really strive to not be a part of it and I told her too I was like you know if that person is saying bad things about you like I guarantee you whoever that person's talking to they're saying bad things about that person too like gossipers just gossip about it, and it stems from insecurity so we talked about all that too um but I just realized by having that conversation that like I need to just talk more and be a part of things more and like have those conversation conversations especially as Maddie gets older because like it really clicked for her she was like oh like you know hurt people like to hurt people and like people who are gossiping and saying bad things about other people like that's stemming from insecurity and it's you know and yeah um and that's the one thing too it's like I just think like yeah if someone approaches me and starts gossiping I'm like you're probably talking about me too to someone else <laughs> like guarantee you 
So anyways, random rants today, but um, that's all I have for today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed watching this little plan with me. I'm using the To Done Planner again for this month because we are so busy. We have a lot, a lot, a lot going on. And so I just um, wanted a lot of the decorating done for me this month. And I've gotten a few questions about using the To Done Planner in the new hub system. Absolutely, you can definitely insert it just like you would any other add-on into the hub system. Um, I think in January I'm gonna make some little tweaks to make it a little bit more like hub system friendly. It's still just fine, but I'm just gonna add some extra little features to it. And I'll probably go back and adjust the earlier releases of it. And so if you've purchased that already, once I make those adjustments, you would just re-download from the Dropbox. But um, so you don't have to repurchase or anything like that. So I think I'm going to make some like little tweaks. Um, I'll be working on that here in just a minute. But anyways, guys, that is all that I have for you today. I hope again that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to catch all my future videos. And I will see you on Wednesday for a new release. Super exciting sticker gets. Woo. <laughs> all right. Enjoy the rest of your weekend and I will chat with y'all later. Bye.